It can't be easy for a bird trying to make its way in a world dominated by us humans. To begin with, think of the noise pollution that we generate on a daily basis. Motorcycles, jackhammers, helicopters, planes, car horns, barking dogs, yapping humans, and in December, that ear-shattering strain of Sir Paul McCartney's simply having a wonderful Christmas time. So what does a bird do? Shout! Dr. Caitlin Kite, a behavioral ecologist at the University of Exeter, recently published her findings about 32 male bluebirds she exposed to either loud or quiet ambient noises. Kite found that as the ambient noise rose, the birds' volume increased and their pitch lowered, which is significant since birds' range of hearing is similar to our own. That means that when environmental noise is ratcheted up, birds, like humans, have to shout through it. Moreover, in 2001 and 2002, ornithologist Henrik Brahm recorded the songs of male nightingales in Berlin and found that they sang 14 decibels above the noise of traffic to be heard. At their loudest, the calls rang in at 95 decibels, the same decibel level of a chainsaw from three feet away. Yep, the nightingales are breaking sound pollution regulations. This kind of real-time adjustment is pretty amazing, but there's a precedent for it in nature. Think waterfalls or whipping winds on the side of a mountain causing a bird to bellow its mating song and drown out a rival. The big question is, does the cacophony of humanity have an adverse reaction on birds? In an interview with new scientist Henrik Brum concedes that although increased volume requires a five-fold increase in lung pressure, this wouldn't cause injury to birds' lungs. But perhaps the injury is more mental than physical. I mean, imagine you're in a bar trying to strike up a conversation that could lead to, say, human mating. But the bass is so loud that you're screaming at your potential mate, spewing spit in the process. I imagine that's what it's like for a bird trying to land a mating call over the sound of a jackhammer. So now the trick is to figure out how to help a bird out, be its wingman, so to speak, and give it a chance in the bar scene that is the world. So that's today's drop of knowledge. For more of the good stuff, check back here and make sure to subscribe. By the way, etymology of subscribe, sub, Latin for under, scribe, Latin for right. In other words, cosinus.